Yesterday, NOAA reported that solar activity was low. We agreed. This is what low solar activity looks like. The movie shows a magnetic filament erupting on August 17th around 12 a.m. Coordinated Universal Time. Earth orbiting satellites reported a C5 class solar flare, and SOHO observed a CME flying into space. The explosion released about as much energy as a billion World War II atomic bombs. This LASCOC2 filter shows the last 24 hours of solar eruptions that have occurred thus far. With all of them occurring on the western limb, Earth may orbit into their path in the near future. I am still waiting for the CME direction model to update for further information. Now shown on the C3 filter as the CME expand into space. This model shows the solar wind pressure for today, and it's been in the moderate range thus far. Using this map, there can be seen nine sunspot regions on the Earth-facing side of the sun today. Not only do solar flares occur with some sunspots, but in some cases the solar wind is also linked to sunspots. Here they are seen on the SDO 1700 filter. Now a look at the solar plasma density and wind velocity forecast, 18th through the 21st. Plasma density will be in the low range, while the solar wind velocity will be in the high range. When the solar wind reaches Earth it sends a flurry of charged particles into the magnetosphere and along Earth's magnetic field lines, towards the poles. The interaction of these particles with Earth's atmosphere can produce glowing aurora displays above polar regions. For the lunar observers, the moon is in the waxing crescent phase. Illumination, 4%. 12 days till the next full moon. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.